Welcome, fellow duelists, to It's F and Raw. This is your co-host, Pretty Boy Cards. And Shadow Gamer. Today we're going to be talking about some cards that have not been released in the TCG, which are related to the decks Utopia and Dark Magician. And lately we just found out, well, we didn't just found out, but the 2021 Tens of Ancient Battles got delayed by next month. It was supposed to come out today, September 1st, but it got delayed to October 1st. What do you feel about that? Pretty much I can't get my Dark Magician support cards yet, which means that I believe the field spell was supposed to come out with that. It was supposed to come out with Magician Salvation, and it was supposed to be another one. I just don't remember. Oh, yeah, and that one blue eyes support card. Cause blue... Was it? Yeah. No, it's not supposed to come in that one, I don't think. I think it was. I thought it was. No, I think it was supposed to come in something else, but I don't remember what else. I know it was supposed to be Magician Salvation and another couple cards. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Piercing the Darkness. Piercing the Darkness. Piercing the Darkness. That one of the spell card, yes. Yeah. And I believe, yeah, the Magic Karibo, it... Yeah, Magic Karibo is supposed to come out in the box. Uh, we don't know what else is coming out. They haven't really released too much about the Mega Ten yet, sadly. But uh, I'm just hoping that they come out with it pretty soon to show us what's going to be in it. Oh, yeah. Because I'm pretty excited that they're still going to be coming out with the reprint of Divine Arsenal Zeus. And that's pretty good. I'm, kind of, I'm just kind of mad that they... Postponed it. Yeah. Oh, and they probably will be coming out the Turtle Soul for the Blue Eyes Dragon. Also, oh, okay. So I was right. So I, I forgot, but okay. Yeah, because it's supposed to come out. Oh, because the tin's gonna have cards related to Ignition Assault, Eternity Code, Rise of the Duelist, Phantom Rage, and more, which is really good because Eternity Code is basically Divine Arsenal Zeus, Rise of the Duelist. It could come out with a lot of good support cards, which is related to probably Dogmatica. Uh, and some other few cards because uh, Rise of the Duelist is like one of the booster, one of the best booster box and the most expensive currently still. Shit. And I'm just excited to see what they're gonna be coming out with. And then I wonder if they're gonna come out with the, like a Blue Eyes Red Eye or Blue Eyes and Dark Magician fusion. Mm, nothing's been announced yet, but that's what everybody keeps hoping for. Like, and I'm because everybody was mad that. Well, everybody was happy with Dragoon, but they were mad because we, for the first 10, it was Atem and Kaiba, Aunt Kaiba's ancestor. But then, freaking, we got Dragoon, which had nothing to do with, and we got Red Eyes, which had nothing to do with any of them. So hopefully, maybe we'll get, like, a new fusion or some sort. Maybe. Or a teaser of some sort. And they might be coming with another printing of Lightning Storm, which will bring down the price drastically again. Because the, the original Lightning Storm was a secret rare in Ignition of the Soul, and it was like over a $100 card, and then it got reprinted in King's Court, which is like a 35 to $40 card, which is really nice. I had like four sets of them, and I sold them, because why not? <laughs> You know, and then I mean, Eternity the Code, whole... they might come out with the reprint of Axis Code Talker. Wait, are you the serious? They might. Because Axis Code Talker is over a hundred dollar card and did say that the tin is gonna probably have some cards related to Eternity Code, so that might be a possibility of getting Access Code Talker. In which case, you just bought for over a hundred dollars. Okay, okay. I had store credit, so I didn't spend that much, okay, jackass. <laughs> well that was money that you could have saved to buy some tins. To have got you your access code talker if it were to come into it. I hate you. I <laughs> fucking hate you. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> At least I didn't spend 70 bucks on Zeus. I spent only 30 on hey, access hey, code. Hey, I only spent hey. 30 on access code talker because I had store credit. It's not my fault you're rich. We work at the same job. <laughs> and since there's also Rise of Duelist, they also might put in Shadow Schism. Which I think would be not too bad because that's like a, over a thirty dollar card. And what I do want is the Dogmaticas, which is like Dogmatica Exclasia, because that's like over a twenty dollar card. And I had her and I sold mine, so I'd rather not buy the singles. I, I mean, I probably would buy the singles, but I still want to get the tins and I have the chance of getting Exclasia. Also, just like the freaking collecting the tins, like make it look pretty and everything else. Yeah, but I also would want access code talker because I'm kind of getting into the cyber stick like you were. Actually, speaking of the tins, oh, uh, well, I am helping you get the cards. Speaking of the tins, um, I realized something because um, it's pretty much been Kaiba, Yugi, and everything else. 
Joey doesn't have an ancestor. So Joey's just that side bitch. It's Brooklyn Rage. He's just that Brooklyn Rage. He has that Brooklyn ancestors. I can see it. Is that Joey Wheeler? No, it's... Ah, fuck. They also might be coming out with the Triple Tactical Talents, which is like one of another staple card. Uh, I don't know if you know too much about it, but it's basically a change of heart. Uh, four souls entry, I think. And a pot of greed in one card. Hmm. Which is really not that bad. It's really good. Honestly, if I do, do get the tins and I do pull a Zeus, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm never going to play it. I'm just going to have it in my binder just sitting there. Just to piss you off. Yeah, I already have my Zeus. And it's secret rare. Which is higher rarity no, than it's the fact, No, it's just more of the piss you off the fact that I'm not playing it, Zeus. Then there, then let's go to the Utopias. There's some cards that I that in the OCG that I want for the TCG, and I hope we're getting them pretty soon. Honestly, well, the first one is that I really like is Utopic Astral Hope, which case because we were playing on Dueling Nexus and they have them, and I kicked your ass. You and, fuck, and so, one hit you fucking one hit me with that one dragon type with that new, wait what was it a uh, one hundred it was number one hundred Numeron dragon. dragon. And it was pretty badass because I had a full field. Of he was at thirty thousand. He was at thirty thousand beat stick, and he just one shot kill me. And I was about to mm, hit you. I hate you. harm yourself. Yeah, it was really nice because the Utopic Astral Hope is has an effect where if an XP monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then you can special you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add one XYZ Automat Zexel or Number Spell trap card from your deck to your hand and you can only use the effect once per turn in which case i think that's amazing because you get basically any card that you definitely want and it's a level four monster which is also nice for your ranking you're not even re you're not even relying on that um draw card because you're like oh i can just get this now get this get this might as well it's all certain the whole deck basically searches each other pretty much and then they got the field spell zexel field i just realized Anybody who does Ash Blossom or pretty much somebody would just need a stun deck just to stop you. They'll just need to run like pretty much what our friend does. He has a he's a stun deck, has a shit ton to stop us, but he, but it's like just random cards. Nothing's nothing's actually it's not like a what was it a state it's not a staple deck. Well, drawing Logboard would hurt hurt this deck a lot though. Really? Well, because it's oh, that's all right. searching. At the head. Yeah, it's all searching. Okay. Okay, there was a way to stop you. I don't. I, just, thinking, I just I forgot Ash, about drilling Lockbird. Yeah, because one Ash Blossom doesn't do nothing. Yeah, to, or fr or uh, freaking um, what was it? Veil. Oh. Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler. Yeah, that won't do nothing either. Okay, so if I drill and lock you, you're you're screwed. Okay. Yeah. The downside then, is if I have to draw it every time I do stack my cyber stack, I'm never able to draw it when I need it. True. And then we got Zexel Field, which is a. Field spell card, obviously. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your cards or effects that target an XYZ monster monsters you control. If an XYZ monster monsters is special into your field, you can target one of those monsters to attach one XYZ monster from your extra deck or graveyard to it as material. You can only use the effect of X field once per turn during your draw phase. Before you draw, you can place one shining draw from your deck to the top of your hand. Or from the top from the deck to the top to the La, 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 la. You can place one shine draw from your deck to the top of the deck. So you basically just draw it during your that sounded like draw a tongue, phase. That sounded like a tongue twister. It was. Which I think is really great because you get to add the shining draw. The shining draw is not searchable and you never want to freaking draw it anyways. And then for you to... So for shining draw, obviously it does... You can activate this card and you must draw it. If for your normal draw... In your draw phase, if reveal it and keep it revealed until the main phase one. During your main phase one, the same turn, you can target one Utopia XYZ monster you control, then activate one of these effects. Equip any number of Zexal weapon monsters with different names from your deck, extra deck to it, or special summon from your extra deck one Utopia XYZ monster with a different frame from that target by using that target as material. And it's treated as an XYZ nice. summon, and you can transfer its materials. I bet you're excited to update your deck and then put it on your ch on your channel, huh? I, I would love to, but I want to get a... Uh, how do you say? I want to top regionals and all that first. Oh, yeah. And then... After 
Because since the, since your Utopia cards are coming out and my Dark Magicians are coming out, I'm excited to. I don't, I'm gonna be at a phase where I don't even know which deck could run, but depending on how consistent the new Dark Magician support helps, maybe I'll go with Dark Magician. But if it's not so, um, consistent enough, I might just run my Cybertox. True. My Co-Talker through that. And then we get a new rank up card, hopefully, which is High uh, Hyper Rank Up Magic Hope Force. It is obviously a rank up card. Target one, rank nine or lower. Utopia monster you control. At, you control special on one f uh, from your extra deck. One rank ten or higher. Utopia or utopic XYZ monster by using that monster you control as material. It's treated as XYZ summon obviously and transfers materials. Uh, do do and 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 a special summon by a rank ten or higher XYZ monster or utopic XYZ monster. Wait, what is it? Oh, if an XYZ monster is special summoned by a rank 10 or higher Utopia or Utopic XYZ monster effect, while this card is in your graveyard, uh, except during the damage step, you can target one of those su summoned monsters, attach this card to it as material. And that's really good. It's only once per turn, but it, that you still get that material because you special summon that XYZ monster anyway, and it doesn't really have the materials, which, th well, in this case, this gives you that material, which is perfect. Nice. And then let's go on to the XYZ monsters, which I'm pretty excited for, which is ZS Utopic Sage. You can detach two materials from this card, so summon one Zexal weapon or ZS monster from your deck. Also, for the rest of the turn, you cannot switch summon monsters from the extra deck except XYZ monsters, which doesn't really matter. And you ignore, you can't, you ignore attack except with number of monsters, in which case you have your whole deck's basically number of monsters as well. You can only use the effect of ZS Utopic Sage once per turn. If a uh, Utopia or Utopic Essence Monster you control whose original attribute is light other than ZS Utopic Sage would be destroyed by bad or effect, you can match this card from the graveyard instead. And so it gets a nice save card, and you can get out uh, a Zexal Weapon or ZS Monster. So nice. you can either attach your Zexal Weapons or go into probably more XYZ summons. Ooh. And then we got another good. Uh, rank uh, XYZ card, which is Leo Utopia Ray. This card is always treated as number C thirty nine Utopia Ray. It's basically like uh, what's his name? Where uh, Draconic Utopia Ray? His his also name is always treated as C thirty nine Utopia Ray. Once per turn, you can detach one card from this card, equipped one Zexal weapon monster from your deck or extra deck to this card, as if it were equipped by that monster's effect. This effect's activation and effect cannot be negated. Once per turn, while this card is equipped by with an XYZ or a ZW monster card, a quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effect, and if you do have its attack. That's basically what I did to your access code talker. Fuck you. So it has a good negate effect. I mean, I would say I would run this all the time, pretty much. Just how good that effect is. And then here's the boss monster. Number 99 Utopia Dragoneer. Uh, Dragner. Dragner. Uh, quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, especially with one number monster that has a number between 1 and 100 in its name for from the extra deck. This is treated as an XYZ summon. You cannot special monsters from the extra deck except XYZ monsters, and your monsters other than this card cannot attack directly. The turn this card is activated. When a monster, when you're, when an opponent's Monster declares an attack. You can change that opponent's monster attack to zero. When you attacked me, I turned your monster's attack to zero when we were playing Dueling Nexus. Ah, shit. That's why you're wondering, what? What happened? Freaking because of Dragoner, man. It's so broken because you can summon anything from 1 through 100. In which case, you can summon number 100, Numeron Dragon. And what Numeron Dragon does is once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined... Ranks of all XZ monsters currently on the field, times one thousand. That's how, and that's how it becomes th a thirty thousand, a thirty, a thirty thousand attack beat stick. Yeah, that's awesome. That's broke. That's fucking broke. Just because of that effect right there, and then if you're obviously you need to get the attachment, in which case you can probably also use number ninety seven to summon. Because you can detach one from number ninety seven, then target two dragon number monsters from your extra deck. And then attach one to the other and special summon the other. Damn. But you need a material for that. That's also where hyper rank up magic hope force comes in. Because you can, when it's in the graveyard, it attaches to it. Fuck. 
So this whole deck is going to be pretty broken later on. Are you gonna, is your plan to make it number one? I'm hoping to make it number one. You just got people since people are running Droll and Lock. You just got to figure out how to get past it if you can. True. Which sucks because even for me, when I have to do my Dark Magicians, Droll and Lock's going to screw me over. Ash fucks me over. Veil and Lock. Um, Effect Veiler fucks me over. I just realized most of the decks I run are add to hand. That's like every deck though, almost. Yeah. That's meta re relevant. Yeah. And the only traps are pretty much like hand traps, like infinite and permanence. Like you used in dueling nexus like a bitch. I used it once. I only have. I'm only running one. You should run three. If you're gonna run one, you might as well run three. Cause I'm debating which is better, dark, dark ruler no more or infinite and permanence. Of course, infinite and permanence, but. Dark Ruler no more on my turn. I can at least activate the spell card and negate all monster effects on the field. True, but still. Yeah. But it's like a once it's my turn kind of phase. But if I'm going first and I have it to hand, it's just there. I'm pretty excited, though, for these cards to come out. I don't know when the Utopia monster is going to be coming out. And I've been just trying to hope they're going to be coming out pretty soon in any of the booster sets. Like Burst of Destiny that we should be getting and then a couple other ones. Oh, yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff. And then for your Dark Magicians, those are going to be pretty broken. I'm th I'm already thinking about running two I to the two Tamayas of the dra Dragony. Dragon of Destiny, I Dragon believe. of Destiny, yeah. Because just on the field, right when it hits the field, it becomes that fusion material. It's like, it's so much better. Because all I have to do is send a Dark Magician or type card from the hand to the graveyard. Boom, special summon it. If I read Dark Magician on the field... I can get Dragoon, I can get Dragon Master, Dragon Knight. One of those two. Pretty much, dra I'm going to go for Dragon, Dark Magician and the Dragon Master because protect my backfield. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you think uh, Dark Magician is going to, when it gets air all the support, how do you think it's going to fare in uh, the meta revelant? Like saying it's like, is it going to be uh, tier 0? Tier 1. Tier 1's the highest, right? Tier 0 is the highest. Uh, I'm going to say, i got to be realistic as much as I like it. I want to say maybe Tier 2. I was just going to say that. I think it's going to be Tier 2 because it's not... Cyber talk and it's not your Utopias. Yeah, it's not super consistent because you only have a few lowers. But, and not but, only, they, but they're all searchable, which is cool. But, but the downside is there's more spells and traps in that deck than there are monsters. In which case, that's not too bad, anyways, because those other card, most of the cards right now, it negate monster effects. Yeah, not a whole lot negates spells and traps. But yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a tier two. I want to try and make it a tier one, but that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a little bit hard. I'm already going through and testing what works with it, what doesn't. I think. Um... What about Utopias? I think Utopias can be a possible tier one, tier zero, just because of how good that. I've we gone were against it. them several times, dude. Like, no matter what I do, you always have like you always have a comeback. The only thing that stops you is like you said, drill and lock. Yeah, but it has a lot of negates. I have a lot of power ups. It's just you have better um, negates now. Finally, once those cards come out, it just has a lot of po power overall, just for it. And you have cards that said, and now you have cards. Some cards that say cannot be negated during the activation. Yeah, the field spell, which is really nice. Which is also searchable by other cards, so I don't even need terraforming. You don't. Like, that deck is pretty much just all one search engine. Pretty much. So I'll give you that. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. Okay, I can already see this. If Utopia ever comes out with a, like, with a SH figure art figure or a statue figure, I'll get it for your birthday or Christmas. I would totally would want one. I, I know, dude. I can just see it in your display case already. I can. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some money right now for us to... Because I want to get us the playmats of our characters and some uh, sleeves. And then if we ever become popular enough, obviously we will be able to sell those to the public as merchandise. Yeah. Which would be pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Freaking... Hopefully our followers can give us some huge back support and we'll... Feedback. Some feedback, sorry. <laughs> I think we're going to cut it a little short today, guys. Uh... We're, we do really enjoy all these podcasts, and I hope we can get your guys' support some more. But we're just kind of busy today. But thank you guys for listening. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to support your fellow card shops. And then go follow us on Spotify. It's FN Raw. 
and on my YouTube channel, Pretty Boy Cards, because this podcast gets uploaded to either or, and you can listen to us either by both or one or the other. While you're driving, while you're pretty much while you're reading, just listen to us. And listen to us. Yeah. Listen, to, listen to these sub subtle yeah. uh, hints. Listen to us while you're fucking your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever. Either or. Either or works. We don't discriminate. Yeah. Not like South Park. <laughs> they took her jobs. They took her jobs. They took our fucking jobs. We suck as Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good day.